my name is Alex Schwartz and today we're going to go over cheetah running legs, why amputees need them to run, why they look like how they look, what they're made of. I'm going to address the controversy. Hopefully you stick around and learn something. These are called running blades and these are exactly what amputees need to be able to actually run efficiently. So running legs are generally, they all look kind of the same and they all work kind of the same. They're all made of carbon fiber and they all are in this weird kind of J or C shape. As you can see, it goes like this. So the main point of running blades in general is to replace the ankle and the calf because that's what amputees lack. So these running legs are all made out of carbon fiber. Now why are they made out of carbon fiber, you might ask. Well, the reason is because carbon fiber is very light but is also very strong. And not only that, but carbon fiber literally compresses like a spring. And that's why you have this shape to optimize the springiness. And generally, the more carbon fiber that you have on a foot or on a blade, the more springiness that you'll get. This compression helps us out because the way it compresses whenever you step down, it stores a lot of your energy so then whenever you go to lift your foot off when you're running, it will release all that energy just like a spring would. As you can see whenever I step down, all the energy stores up and the blade compresses and then when I go to push off, it releases like a spring. And that is exactly why these work to replace a calf and an ankle because if it wasn't for that springiness then we'd be walking on peg legs which would be very uncomfortable and give us a really big disadvantage to a normal person so not only do they have that curved blade shape because it optimizes the compression but they also do not have heels so whenever you're wearing cheetahs it's really hard to stand still because you have to balance just on this edge right here and the reason it's like that is because whenever you're running you're running on the front part of your foot, you're running on your toes, you're not, you don't use your heel when you're running or sprinting. So with the cheetahs and most running blades, they don't even include a heel at all, as you can see. This is just the front part of a sole. And also another thing is, is a lot of people think that you're just running on bare carbon fiber. So I can assure you that nobody's running on bare carbon fiber, but there are multiple options that you have when it comes to putting something beneath the blade and the ground. In my case, I just cut off the shoe of a Nike sole. In my case, I just cut off the sole of a Nike shoe and we glued it on there. That's what I have right now. Some people cut a shoe in half and then they put the front half of the shoe right here and then they tie the shoe strings around the back. And if you're running on a track only, you can get some Nike track pads that are made specifically for cheetahs. Now there are many different types of running blades. The ones that I have right here are called Cheetah Extends by Oser. Yes, they are actually called Cheetah Legs. Hence me wearing the cheetah outfit because I think I'm cool. There are other companies that make them though like Autobach and Freedom Innovations. As you can see, I'm posting them up here. They all look kind of the same, like I said, but they're all just a little bit different. The main difference between the different running blades is some of them mount on the back of the socket like this one and come out really big like this, but some of them just mount at the end of the socket on the bottom like a normal foot would, and they're not quite as huge. And of course, one thing that I get all the time is, oh man, do you run super fast in those? Well, here's the thing. I know there's a lot of controversy between whether they're an advantage or not, but I just got my running legs in January of this year. That means my entire life I did not run normally until I got these legs. Do you really think that I just zoom past anybody who actually runs? No, I don't run faster than anybody else who is close to me and my fitness level and everything like that. Cheetah legs just even out the playing field. I run just as fast as anybody else who's put in just as much work as I have. Even Oscar Pistorius, the guy who made it to the normal Olympics because he qualified because he was so fast, still placed in last place in the semifinals. If there was such an advantage, I'm sure, you know, he would have obliterated the competition. If you want to look more into that, they have done studies and you can just Google are running blades an advantage or whatever you want. The best way to put it is that these even out the playing field because like I said before, if you don't have a running blade, it feels like you're running on peg legs. So that's why these are a lifesaver and that's why without these, you can't really run normally. I mean, I can run with my walking legs, but it's not very comfortable. It doesn't do much. It feels like I'm just stomping on the ground with like peg legs, like I said. But when I run with these, it's a totally, totally, totally different feeling. I seriously feel like I actually have feet and that I'm actually able to run. So they're incredibly, incredibly awesome. And it was actually life changing when I got these. I finally felt like I was able to do whatever I wanted to do. These are very important. And unfortunately, they're not covered by insurance. So that's extremely, extremely unfortunate. I was trying to get them for so many, so many years. 
Even when I was a kid, I wanted these so bad, and finally now I'm 21 and I just got them. Well, I got them when I was 20, but yeah. But hopefully by watching this video, you now know how the running blades work, why they look like they do, why they're in a seat shape, why they're made of carbon fiber, how they actually return energy, and hopefully I also gave you a new perspective on whether they're an advantage or not. With that, hopefully you take nothing for granted, even something simple as hell as running that everybody can do, and have a great day.